I don't know how often or if we've ever been to a good start like that before, but you know, it felt good. The Celtics weren't just dominant Tuesday night in Brooklyn, okay? They were historically dominant. That's right, Boston came out of the gates firing on all cylinders and built a 28-2 lead over the Nets over the first six plus minutes of the game. That marks the fastest the team has ever built a 26-point lead during the play-by-play -play era, which covers the past 25 seasons of NBA basketball. And the Celtics did not stop there. No, they continued to pour it on the Nets the rest of the night as they dominated defensively while shooting 55% from the field and route to a runaway 126 to 91 win. It felt good. Um, I don't know how often or if we've ever been to a good start like that before, but you know, it felt good. And we were locked in defensively, obviously, to holding the two. But I mentioned it the other night. It feels like times like we engulf teams and kind of suffocate them with our size and um, length and some of those things. We had a game plan that we wanted to go into, and we followed it, you know, to the T. Um, that he may put in for us. And then, you know, we, we went down on the other end and we executed to, to our full potential. The Celtics have now logged a season best six straight wins, and believe it or not, half of those wins have been logged by at least 30 points. All six have been logged by at least nine points. And those runaway wins have pushed Boston all the way to the top of the Eastern Conference when it comes to average point differential. The team now ranks fourth in the entire NBA when it comes to average point differential. Now the Seas will look to continue that role when they play host to the Denver Nuggets Friday night at TD Garden. Reporting for Celtics.com, I'm Mark D'Amico.